Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. The Pennsylvania toy collector is back on the scene, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing the Mighty Morphin Retro line from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is a re release. And this is the Flippin' Change, Mighty Morphin, Power Ranger, Jason. And you see all the other figures in the line. We don't have a Yellow Ranger yet, but it would be nice to get her in this line. And this is a re-release that I picked up a long time ago, and this is the Retro Morph Power Rangers. It's Morphin' Time! And we're going to look at the figure itself, but before we do that, it's time for another Eddie Hill montage as we review this. Here's toy line. And it does have some articulation for an old school figure. No ball jointed head. But you do get bend at the elbow if you can make that work without breaking it. It's a bit tricky, because this figure is a bit tougher than most. And I'm afraid I'm going to break the arms, but yeah. The legs are on a hinge as well. But you got to be careful when handling this retro figure, because the fear of breakage would make you not want to break it. And believe me, that would be a bummer. Because I got this figure at Walmart for about $9.00. Is this figure worth adding to your collection if you're a Power Rangers fan? Yes. I wasn't around the original cartoon, but I've seen the Mighty Morphin movie, the original movie, before the first one. And I thought these toys were awesome. They were incredible. One of these days, I had to watch the whole series. Which I did. But now we're going to get on to the gimmick itself. And you just push this button in the back. And you fold the ranger head in like so. Sorry if it's a bit stubborn. Eh, you got to use a little bit of brute force. And there you got Jason's old mug of Jason himself. Of young Jason. Ain't that cool? And the blaster is really well molded for an old school Ranger blaster. It's pretty cool. Power sword is really well molded. The only nitpick I have with this and this, I wish I wish they were painted like the Lightning Series collection. But now we're gonna put up his Ranger helmet and get down to the most important thing. Comparison. And I do have a comparison. Here is the Retromorph Power Rangers Jason next to my Lightning Series P Power Rangers Jason. And this is the better looking figure. This one ain't half bad for an old school figure. It'll have a place in my collection, since I love Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, hands down. Would I recommend this to anyone wishing to get some good classic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers complete? Yes, pick it up. You won't regret it. It is worth adding to your collection, especially if you grew up with Power Rangers like I did. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. 